Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us for our virtual Grade 8 Information Night at St. Francis Xavier. My name is Ms. Rudolph Temple. And I'm Mitchell Svetan. And we are guidance counselors who will take you through this evening's agenda. The agenda for this evening will cover an introduction to our, to our school chaplain, administrative team, and support staff, along with a few members of the Student Council who will put together a brief video that highlights our school spirit here at Xavier. We will also discuss the Grade 8 transition to Grade 9 in terms of their academic requirements. At the end of the presentation, you will have the opportunity to visit the classrooms virtually and learn more about the compulsory and elective courses. At this time, I'd like to introduce our chaplain, Ms. Betty Ann Pickett, to start us off with an opening prayer. Good evening, Grade 8 students and families. My name is Ms. Pickett, and I am the chaplaincy leader at St. Francis Xavier Secondary School. One of the guiding principles of our school community is an openness to unity and prayer. We recognize the workings of the Holy Spirit within the hearts of our staff and students. It is with this deep respect for one another that we experience the blessings of God's love. Today I share with you St. Paul's description about love in the New Testament. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends. As you make the transition to St. Francis Xavier Secondary School, we pray that you feel the welcoming spirit of our school community, knowing and trusting in your true potential as you learn more about yourself and your talents and gifts. As you become more familiar with our community and all that it offers, we will continue to pray for you. Let us pray together. We begin with the sign of our faith, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, God, for new experiences, new friends, and a great school community. Bless and guide our great eight visitors today to know more about your love and excellence through the people that they meet. By your protection and care, shine your light in their hearts. Be a safe refuge, O oh God, in their time of need. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Francis, Savior, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Miss Pickett. And now it gives us great pleasure to introduce our local Catholic trustees, Mr. Stefano Pascucci, Ward 4, and Mr. Thomas Thomas, Ward 5. They are two of 11 elected community members who sit on the Dufferin Peel Catholic District School Board. The primary role of a trustee is to develop policy, approve the board budget, address student achievement matters, and communicate parent guardian concerns within a jurisdiction. Catholic school trustees are charged with maintaining and advancing the Catholic nature of our school system. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our administrative team beginning with our principal, Mr. Dan Campagnol, and vice principals, Mr. Vincent, Mrs. Yakubowska, Mrs. Malazzi, and Mrs. Meyer Kingshot. Up next, Mr. Campagnol will be taking you on a virtual tour of our school, highlighting some of the spaces that are integral to our school community. Hi, my name is Dan Campagnol. I'm blessed to be principal at St. Francis Xavier Secondary School. There's no question this pandemic has changed most aspects of our lives, and the transition from grade eight to grade nine is no different. Despite being restricted to this virtual type of open house, I will attempt to bring you around and tour aspects of the school, while at the same time highlighting our school's culture and our school's activities. To begin, we'll start in our school's foyer. It's not coincidental that our school's chapel overlooks the foyer. This highlights our belief that our faith serves to guide our daily interactions and that God looks over us as we go about our lives. We begin each day with prayer and reflection 
and our collective faith is embedded in all aspects of school life. Here, we find ourselves in our school's cafeteria. During normal times, our students gather here to socialize, to work on homework and group projects together, and of course to eat lunch. When I come into the cafeteria, I am often struck by the diversity of our school community. We are a multi-faith, multicultural school community who celebrates each other's differences and each other's unique life experiences. I view our school community as an orchestra, where in an orchestra, individual musical instruments contribute to a rich, complex sound, more so than if they were played individually in isolation. It's no different in our school community. The individual students and their unique gifts and talents contribute to the greater school community and make this school a rich experience for both staff and students alike. Our school spirit is very much the backbone of our school community's strength. Whether it's our school athletes who perform here in the gym or out on the backfield, or all of the other students who contribute to our co-curricular and extra extracurricular activities. It is these students who contribute over and above their in-class activities and are largely responsible for generating the passion that drives our school community forward. In fact, this awesome mural that is painted on the wall behind me was painted by a graduate of our school. When he was commissioned to redesign the space, he was so excited to be able to give back to the school community that lit his passion for graphic arts and gave him the confidence to pursue his dreams. I very much look forward to seeing each of you in our school next year, finding your passion and contributing to this awesome community. In closing, I want to draw your attention to the phrase that's on the wall behind me. Start fast, finish strong. We use this phrase to drive achievement in all aspects of school life, from academics to athletics and beyond. I hope you have each gotten off to a fast start in grade eight and that you have a strong finish to this year. I look forward to meeting each of you in September. Thank you. So as you can already see, our school has a lot to offer. In addition to our administration, our extensive support staff is available to meet students' individual needs. Our guidance staff is here to assist students with course selection and changes, pathway counselling, post-secondary preparation, school and community service involvement. Our academic resource department supports students with IEPs by helping to develop learning skills and self-advocacy and by offering one-on-one -on -one instruction. Our student success team is available to further support students who may need help re-engaging in their studies through credit recovery options. Our ELL support staff are accessible to all our English language learners who are new to the country and school who may require support to successfully transition to mainstream classes. Last but not least, our mental health support staff consists of a social worker, child and youth worker, school psychologist, and new this year, a black graduation coach. Their combined efforts are here to support both students and parents applying a collaborative approach to mental health and well-being. As you can see, students are in good hands when they are at school as they have a multitude of resources to access should they need additional support. At this time, I would like to introduce our student council representatives, Natalie Ayub, Farah El Samak, and Daniel Wanko, who are going to tell you about our clubs and extracurricular activities here at Xavier. Hello, Hello there. Hi. Who are you? Well, my name is Natalie Ayu, and I'm the Prime Minister of City Council. Welcome, St. Francis Xavier. All righty. So, Natalie, can you tell us what Student Council actually does? We do quite a lot, but we mainly host events such as school, school dances, yearly carnivals, and movie nights. But due to COVID, we have to be really creative with how we host plan and execute events both online and in person so we can make sure that everyone feels safe. Also, a few years ago we started to raise awareness for social justice issues such as Orange Day, suicide prevention, and mental health. 
because we want to make sure that our school knows about issues in the world. We also raise a bunch of school spirit. Woo! It's actually part of our job to make sure that the school energy is high. That's why we host events such as pep rally and school spirit. and mental health. So that's something we're very passionate about. And yeah, so what, are, what kind of clubs can I join? Oh, that's a great question, Natalie. At FX, we offer a wide range of clubs ranging from business to medicine to anything you really like. So if you're interested in business, make sure to take a look at DECA or FBLA. If you're interested in medicine, make sure to take a look at HOSA or AYD. And over here, we have the Shizun program, which is um, selected for grade 11 to 12 who are interested in hospitality or health and wellness. So if those are some topics that you're interested in, make sure to take a look. Um, now, if none, of these, if none of these clubs really suit your interest, don't fret. You can start your own club. You just have to fill out a couple requirements, and then you can start your own club here at FX. Just make sure to take a look at our Instagram at FX Tigers, or check out our website for more information. Is that Faro? Yo, what's up? Yeah. Hi. This year's student council. So the viewers over here wanted to know if SAC events are actually fun. Well, duh, of course they're fun. And I know it might be a little bit biased coming from somebody on student council, but student council events are great ways to find new friends, socialize, and find out more about the school community. You know, I remember being in grade 9 and being so nervous and a little bit antisocial about the fact that there were so many people in our school community. But student council events helped me find friends and a lot of people who wanted me to be their friend. In fact, student council events are actually really good ways to give back to the communities around us. From the Downey Wenjack Foundation that helps indigenous people from their traumas of surviving residential schools, to the Friendship Bench, as Farah mentioned, that helps people with mental health and helps people get the help they need. I highly recommend you join us for all the student council events that we host because they're really good ways for you to be involved in our school community. We're excited to see you here next year, Grade 8! Hopefully, from what you have seen and heard so far, you will agree that St. Francis Xavier is the place to be next year. At this time, Mr. Svetin and I will discuss what Grade 9 will look like academically. Okay, so in order to earn your Ontario Secondary School Diploma, there are three main requirements. First, you must earn a total, total of 30 credits, 18 of which are compulsory, and 12 are electives. Second, successfully complete the Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test. And finally, provide proof of 40 hours of community service. We definitely encourage students not to limit themselves to 40 hours of service, as we believe these experiences enrich the lives of both the student and the people they serve. In grade nine, students will be required to complete six compulsory courses, including science, geography, math, English, French, and religion. In addition, they will choose two elective courses, which may include visual art, exploring technologies, drama, phys ed, business technology, and music. And we encourage you to visit our virtual departments at the end of this presentation for more information on each of these courses. Students will be required to choose from four available pathways in grade nine. These include academic, which is mostly theory-based and intended for university preparation. In grade 11, the academic courses become university level. Applied courses are more practice-based and intended for college preparation. In grade 11, these courses become college level. We also have open courses, which offer a more integrated approach, including students who are taking academic or applied levels. And these are mostly offered for elective courses. Finally, locally developed courses focus on building essential skills in various subject areas that are intended for students who transition into the workplace or apprenticeship. So while it may be a difficult decision on how to choose a pathway, we do encourage that you speak to your child's grade eight teacher since they do know your child's strengths and areas of interest. And as Mr. Svetin will explain, this decision is not carved in stone and can be changed. So there are always opportunities for students to seamlessly change pathways between their grade 9 and grade 10 year. All core courses can, tr can transition from the applied level to academic. This decision should be based on the student's final grade, teacher recommendation, or personal challenge. To better support pathway transitions, 
New this year, the government introduced a foundational de-streamed math course for grade 9 students. You can hear more about this course by tuning into the departmental video presentations at the end of this video. Dufferin Peel students in grade 8 will use my blueprint to register for their courses. This is a valuable tool that allows students not only to plan for courses throughout their high school career, but it also offers surveys that will help to identify your child's strengths and interests, goal setting features, credit accumulation and progress, and, uh, and checks, and even post-secondary information. We encourage students to become familiar with this educational planner and use it as a resource. Okay, so why choose Xavier? Well, to begin, the core values of the Cathy curriculum are embedded in the fabric of the school and are, and are truly alive in everything that we do. Our school environment is such that people feel cared for, supported, and nurtured. Now, above and beyond all the support and guidance your child will receive as an Xavier student, we have a teaching staff that has a strong commitment to academic excellence, as proven by results on standardized testing. Xavier teachers empower their students rather than create a culture of compliance. With a plethora of sports and clubs available at our school, your son or daughter will find something to challenge their skills, help shape their critical thinking, and build character. The more they are involved in their school community, the greater sense of purpose they will feel. And finally, with a broad range of electives and specialty programs, Xavier is a community that will empower your child and provide them the knowledge and skills to pursue their passions, interests, and future. As we believe, the success of a school should not only be measured by what a student does when they are in school, but also by their impact on the world after they graduate. And with regards to registration, students who are with our Dufferin Peel feeder schools will register through their elementary schools using My Blueprint. Students who are coming from other boards will need to complete the registration package using the links provided here. Please also visit McCarthy's for uniform requirements. Finally, while we anticipate that there will be a registration fee for the upcoming school year, at this time there has not been a decision made on that, so please wait for further instructions. Hi, I'm Mrs. Parsons and I'm the Guidance Secretary here at St. Francis Xavier Secondary School. Hi, I'm Mrs. Leo. I'm the Assistant Guidance Attendant Secretary here. You've all heard the wonderful things about our school community. We would love to have you join us for the 22-23 school year. Now let's show you how to register. Hi everyone, this is a quick instructional video on how to register your child for St. Francis Xavier Secondary School. First, go to our St. Francis Xavier School website. From there, click on the heading Guidance Courses. Once you do that, you will see a yellow icon that says register now. Please click on the words that are just below this icon and then look for how to register for grades 9, 10, 11, and 12. Click on that link and you will be sent to our information page. On this page, you will find direct links for each grade, grade 9, grade 10, grade 11, and 12, and you'll be able to click on the appropriate link and directly register your child for St. Francis Xavier. You're on your way. If your child currently attends one of our feeder schools, San Lorenzo, St. Hilary, St. Jude, St. Matthew, or St. Valentine, please do not complete this registration at this time as our guidance counselors will be coming to visit your students in school in the new year and will be helping them through the process at that time. We hope that this video helps. Thank you so much and good luck. We can't wait to meet you in September 2022. Hey, Mrs. Parsons, look who it is. Our friends are here. Go, Go Tigers! Tigers! At this time, we would like to ask Miss Pickett to offer a closing prayer. Now, following the closing prayer, parents and students are encouraged to virtually visit classrooms by using the links provided. Thank you for taking the time to join us this evening. We look forward to meeting your children next year. Go Tigers! In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us pause to contemplate the Holy Presence of God. As you guide us, O oh God, and teach us in the ways of your love, we begin this new journey of hope together 
we rediscover and renew the gift of faith as we contemplate a new beginning and place all our trust in you. While we form new friendships, bless us and protect us, God, as we walk in your ways with your Son, Jesus. St. Francis Xavier, pray for us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you, and have a great evening.